Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Please check out all my other YouTubes on Solar Project e-bikes, hot rod builds, uh, just a wide variety of stuff. But in this video, I'm going to cover two easy ways that you can help protect your alternator uh, when you're charging up lithium batteries. Uh, a lot of folks are converting to lithium batteries in your RVs. Um, I personally have Battleborn batteries in mine and just love the performance. And once you see what they could do, it's just amazing. But one important step that uh, I've noticed uh, some friends missing um, and uh, mentioned on uh, YouTubes is that uh, you need to have a proper isolation from your alternator in your tow vehicle or your motorhome uh, from those batteries when you're charging them up after they're pretty well depleted. So uh, overcurrent is an issue, overheating the alternator. And I'm gonna cover two different ways of putting devices in. Uh, very economical, 150 bucks, easy to do, just four wires typically to make it work. If you've gone to lithium and uh, you've already done this, please leave your comments down below on uh, what type of device or how you've used it, uh, how it's working. And if you haven't, uh, please let me know too. You may be one of the people that uh, had an installation done by some company that put in lithium batteries, converted you over, and uh, may have forgotten that step, or maybe you did. Save your vacation, save your trip uh, from not being on the side of the road or causing a fire under the hood with melted wires and a burned up alternator. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, let's get to it. The challenge is, um, if you're going to lithium iron phosphate batteries, or as they're called, lipo batteries, uh, when you put them in and if you run them down, um, when you connect your RV up to your tow vehicle, your car, your truck most likely, um, what it's going to do is just say, send me all the current you can give me. I mean, almost like a direct short. It'll just suck everything uh, out of your alternator. And there have been times where uh, the alternators are really designed, uh, like a 100 amp alternator is designed to do 100 amps when the RPMs are four or 5,000 RPM driving down the road. Um, but when you're idling, it's not moving enough air through the little fan on the alternator to keep it cool and people have their alternators burn up. So when you go to lithium batteries, you have to have some way of limiting the current or switching off and on the current periodically um, to do that task so uh, it saves your alternator. So I chose to go with the Victron Energy. Uh, this is a smart device. It also has Bluetooth. It ties into my other devices that I have from Victron, which I'll show you here in a minute on my iPad running and then we'll do a little test on it, but uh, works really well. Um, and this is a DC to DC charger. This is another device. Um, Battleborn sells these, I think you can get these on Amazon. And uh, what this device does is this is a, a LiPo battery isolation manager, uh, connects up to the leads and, and I see, I've seen some videos on RVs, uh, motorhomes, that sort of thing where they've used these successfully. So. Um, and again, I'm, an, I'm a bumper pull trailer. I have the engine uh, connected through my seven pin connector to charge the batteries in the trailer normally. Uh, whereas an RV, like a motorhome, uh, you'd have that, you know, all in one unit there, your engine is all on board. So, uh, so but the concept is the same. So, but this, what it does, it's just gonna switch off and on, if you could read that. So under normal battery charging conditions, the BIM connect 15 minutes every 35 minutes. That means the BIM will connect 15 minutes, disconnect for 20 minutes, and repeat this cycle until the coach battery's charged. All right, coming up to my RV here, I'll show you where I mounted the Orion. And uh, since I'm lithium powered, I found these stickers on eBay pretty cool. People ask about that all the time. Um, and that's because the battle borns inside the LiPo batteries. But inside my storage compartment, there's my 3000 watt Renogy pure sine wave inverter that runs my induction cooktop. Um, if you want to see another really cool video, uh, look how I'm using uh, the sun to cook with uh, through induction uh, heating uh, on my pans. Um, check out my other YouTube and you'll see that posted. But anyway, right next to it, I mounted the Orion TR smart uh, charger and uh, Real simple, you just have two wires coming in, positive and negative, from your tow vehicle or your seven pin plug. And then you have your output, positive and negative, that goes to your battery. And uh, that's all there is to it. And the Bluetooth's already built in. 
and on off right now. Probably see that it's off. And then when the truck starts, it automatically detects the uh, increase in voltage from the alternator versus the static uh, battery voltage. And that'll turn on and uh, do its thing up to 18 amps. Okay, I'm bringing the Victron Energy app up and running. Okay, so I'm connected. You see my camper battery. We'll see what that's doing. Um, I'm at 13.4 volts and I'm 99%, so it's only got 2.9 amps coming in. Plus what I'm using is probably about 10 amps running refrigerators and stuff. So let's go back, look at the truck solar. I think I have that shut off right now. And you see, yeah, so 34 volts or so coming off of the panel itself. I'm not putting out any any current and then if I go into the uh, truck alternator now which is my DC to DC charger okay so you can see it kicked on and I'm in bulk charge right now and just changed absorption all right so if I go into the settings I can go in and change my parameters if you want to geek out a bit or you just use it from factory defaults but I'm set everything I'm doing all my solar everything set for 14 volts float voltage 13.6 so I'm connected and it's chipping in some current into the batteries and then if I shut the truck off right now there I'm off and it automatically detected it it isolated itself from the circuit and uh, so uh, you know when the alternator kicks out the voltage will drop down to your battery voltage that normally sits at and this is a smart device so it knows that and just switches off so anyway, totally automatic, works really well. Bluetooth, can't beat it. I love the Victron products. Um, look into all the other stuff they have, pretty amazing stuff. The MultiPlus, their MPPT charge controllers, and so on. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. So uh, please subscribe, hit the bell. And if you have any questions on this, uh, leave it in the comment field, and I'll try to put some descriptions on Amazon for the product or eBay uh, in the description. So anyway, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.